Alright, hey everyone, my name is Gavin Ware, go by Raw G on Steam. So, I'm here to talk about Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Actually looking to throw a little shade on the developers, because it really has felt to me like they are not giving multiplayer the attention it needs. Uh, I've always been a fan of PvP in games, I love playing against people, you know, knowing there's someone on the other side of that keyboard you know strategizing against that the the single player is awesome in this game and they've uh you know i feel like enhanced it drastically from when i last played it a couple months ago but it's just not how i like to enjoy the game and so for a game uh this high end i mean it is 50 dollars. i probably got in a sale for 30 uh you know you expect them to also pay attention to an aspect of the game that you know a strong uh, part of the player, player base likes and pays attention to. So here you can look at the numbers on um, these are the Steam charts. So how much the game's being played? There's about thirteen thousand five hundred players. Um, you know, uh, currently probably down fifteen hundred from thirty days ago. So when the game maybe had fifteen thousand people playing. So. Really, uh, with the game that only came out a few months ago, you know what I mean? You hate to see that, and I feel like from what I see on the forums and even reviews left by people I've played the game with myself, that they compared to Mountain Blade Warband, a game that's released um, almost, well, more than 10 years ago, right? It's uh, In the last 30 days, it even shows an increase in players. I mean, at 5,000, it's, uh, you know, even more than a third of the players a little bit that are playing... Uh, the newest game Bannerlord but it's really not a good sign in showing just how loyal some people are to you know how good the combat system is in in Warband and it's not something that I really can compare having so few hours in Warband but I know people that uh, did put hundreds or thousands of hours into that game know that um, the combat system in this newest game just isn't really you know living up to be the predecessor of such an amazing game and they didn't really enhance it the way that they really hoped they would so here i'm going to look at um one of the latest updates to this game the early access update in which they um you know show since uh, a few months ago when the really you know world's rocked by covid and everything uh put you know maybe a little halt to them but they were really constantly releasing patches through that time they were able to keep updating the game but uh really to me it seemed much more in skewed of single player than than multiplayer um so here and we did see i think this is cool they added new weapons and armor uh with different tiers because now you can even make your uh, your own kingdom with kingdom creation and and that's a you know an amazing addition I'm sure it took a lot of work to add to the single player experience but I have to scroll all the way down here to see a line with multiplayer we are currently readjusting and refining combat parameters while rebalancing stats equipment and perks additionally the player report tool is currently in beta and we hope to send that to the main branch soon to help players deal with prob problematic users Finally, we hope to be able to start releasing some modding tools with limited documentation in the future. So that's really, you know, what's been happening with multiplayer. And of course, uh, there have been some maps added lately. There are balance changes made to it. But the kind of changes I really would want to see are more overarching to everything that goes into the multiplayer experience. So st things like matchmaking. I know in modes like Siege and um, Team Deathmatch, that uh you know kind of players spawn in and choose their teams it's gonna be harder to balance things like that but uh i feel like skirmish that's 6v6 um one this that mode has uh team damage in it you know what i mean there's nothing to to indicate between the modes which ones have team damage and not and i feel like it uh makes players not not really respect that uh, i think it's an amazing part of the game that you have to be careful not to also you know hit your teammates and you know what i mean you can do just as much damage to them as as you can to the enemies and in a lot of games they they nerf it they uh you know make so you do less damage to your teammates but but yeah only certain game modes have that and i don't think it's that obvious to the player that that's the case i think there would be more indication of that um overall matching you with people that 
are also at your same skill level. And I know this comes down to player base too, that you cannot always match people with, uh, you know, other people that are also new and learning the game when there's so few people uh, even queuing. But to me, you know, that, that just speaks to, you know, it's a kind of problem that, that feeds on itself because you have a community of such small, small people. And so you have the very good players playing against people that are just new to the game. And that's just can be a frustrating experience for a newer player and may discourage them. So I I wish things like that, um, little tool tips for players about weapons, uh, even be able to switch between throwing and, and just swinging with them. Uh, you need to hit the X button. There's really nothing on the screen to indicate that. You have newer players coming into the game often asking asking people how to do this. Um, the the damage numbers that appear at the bottom left of the screen. Um, they are not... They don't give you any indication of um, what type of weapon. Um, so It does give you a missile speed sometimes, but it would be great to know what type of weapon and even who fired that weapon. You know what I mean? Either friend or enemy to know you know where's it coming from there's so little information about either when you die or take damage about where it came from uh any of that kind of stuff so it'd be great to see them really focus more on the multiplayer and i'd love to hear your guys thoughts about you know what else i'm sure we've been seeing it in the forums but maybe putting something like this in front of them uh you know Give me your ideas on on what else should really change to really redeem themselves and be able to give people the multiplayer experience they expected out of Bannerlord 2. Thanks guys. If you uh, like this video, if you want to, you know, see more of it, and I would love to see your ideas in the comments. Um, you know, like, subscribe, and maybe we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.